In the United States, states have had uh, coastal management authority since the early mid-70s, 1970s, so for a long time. And that makes perfect sense because co states have to deal with, if we're thinking about anything new being developed out in the ocean or in waters close to that state, it affects constituencies within those states. So it makes sense that states, by design, have a role and will have a role and will want to have a role in deciding how our ocean space gets built out. This was built into the Federal Coastal Zone Management Act, which is a unique partnership whereby states and federal agencies uh, work together on, on addressing some of these issues. And within that Federal Coastal Zone Management Act, there are some very powerful tools that are already in existence for a state to use. States have typically, in the United States, they have direct jurisdiction over a certain chunk of ocean waters. It varies depending on where you are. Here in New England, it's approximately three miles offshore. In some places, it's further out than that. Beyond that, it's federal waters. And that means primarily, federal agencies have jurisdiction over what happens and where and how, what gets built, what doesn't out in those waters. However, because of the existing authorities given to states through the Coastal Zone Management Act, a state can have a very powerful voice in also deciding what and where federal authorities are given to certain activities in federal waters. This is sometimes called federal consistency authority. Through the implementation of the National Ocean Policy, states are at the table in developing these ocean plans along with federal partners. In our case in New England, and as is the case in the Mid-Atlantic, it is absolutely a shared leadership type of role, a partnership type of role. Federal agencies and states work together to develop these plans from soup to nuts. The, the process that is uh, used to develop these plans, the data and information that is developed, how to interpret those data, what it means toward making decisions about how we cite particular things or protect certain areas, as the case may be, all of that, the states are working with the federal folks to develop these plans. So in a very practical way, they're there already. So I think because of that reason, because of the, the, the connections that have been made, the communication that has happened, the information that's been developed, I think states absolutely see this as this helps them uh, uh, moving forward with their own concerns and, and making sure that their priorities are being addressed as well.